Hello and welcome back to The Divide this time, guys. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where today we're going to be taking a look at the Flare Gun. This is a unique weapon, or sort of a unique weapon. It's unique to the last DLC of Fallout New Vegas, which is the Lonesome Rogue DLC, where you go to The Divide. So the Flare Gun is a weapon or a tool that you can find laying around throughout The Divide. You can actually find this in a lot of supply caches, so you might find them just by looting different things. The marked men can also have flare guns, and there are just a few that are just laying around the divide. This one requires zero energy weapons and only three strength to wield. Why this is three strength, I'm not entirely sure. I would assume that the flare gun should be like one strength as well, but three strength is fine too. Most characters are going to have that, uh, unless you're going with like a one strength build, and then you could still get this because you could get something like reinforced spine and that takes it up to three, or that in the implant and you up to four. This one does 10 damage per shot. However, it also does an additional one damage per second for 10 seconds since it lights enemies on fire and it burns. The fire is also an AOE shot, so when you hit something directly with it, it can splash to other enemies as well, which can be kind of useful. This one does 18 damage per second and then plus one damage for 10 seconds because of the fire over time. The flare gun does 10 crit damage on it, so the same as its regular damage, nothing crazy there. It has a 1.5 times crit modifier though, slightly above average for some reason, so that's kind of nice. This costs 30 action points to use, which is pretty high for a pistol like this, especially one that doesn't do very much damage. But the VATS attack can be really useful for its unique effect. Uh, this one has 0.5 spread to it, so it is accurate enough. I, I don't know, the spread is kind of weird on the flare gun because the projectile is larger than normal, so it's easier to hit. But then the projectile also arcs, so it's more difficult to hit at range. But at close range, it's not very difficult to hit because you just kind of have to hit anywhere. And the hitbox is a little bit bigger than the standard ammo for other weapons. This one also has a magazine of one, sort of. It, it requires 10 ammo to shoot one shot. So you're using up more ammo, but you do only have the single shot from the flare gun. This one weighs two weight, so it's very lightweight. This one also has 50 item health, so its item health is pretty low and it can break fairly quick. Not that that matters a whole lot with a single shot weapon like this, unless you're gonna be trying to use the flare gun as a primary weapon, which I don't think is a great idea. The flare gun also has a unique effect, which makes it so if you hit an abomination, something like a Deathclaw or a Tunneler or some of the other creatures that are considered abominations, they will flee from this. So they're gonna run away for about 10 seconds. That can actually be really nice because death claws are incredibly scary in New Vegas, especially if you're playing on the very hard difficulty where even if your character is super tanky and as strong as possible, you can still get two or three shotted by death claws. So having a flare gun on you as a tool to scare them away is actually not a bad option. This one can also count as a holdout weapon. It's an improved holdout weapon, so you do need to have 50 stealth in order to sneak it into places. I'm not entirely sure where a flare gun is going to be all that useful to sneak into, but it is something that you can do. This is one of the few weapons that is actually affected by the Pyromaniac skill too, which gives you 50% more damage with fire weapons. Unfortunately, this is not one of the stronger weapons that is affected by Pyromaniac because having an extra 5 damage thrown on doesn't matter too much for this weapon. It's also affected by Meltdown, which is funny because I had never thought about that until I built a an energy weapon build to be using this and yeah meltdown can trigger so you can have explosions and you can actually have better crowd control against at least weaker enemies than what you otherwise would funny enough for the general pros of this weapon it does scare enemies away it scares the abominations away and that's going to be its major major pro that you might want to be carrying a flare gun around for it also doesn't weigh very much it's only two weight you're probably not going to need a whole lot of flame refuel for this either because you only need a, a few shots with this to keep things at bay just in case something sneaks up on you. And even if something does sneak up on you, it's pretty easy to switch to this and then go into your vats and shoot that so that it runs away. For the general cons though, this weapon does do low damage. It has low damage per second. The projectile speed is kind of weird and hard to hit it sometimes. It also has low item health overall, so it can break fairly quick if you're, again, going to be using this as a primary weapon. I don't think that that's a good way to be using this. We should also talk about the different ammos that this one gets access to as well, where this one uses flamer fuel, so the same thing that the incinerator and the flamers use. So it doesn't actually have very much competition in terms of the ammo that's using it. Plus, again, you're probably not going to be using that much fuel with this since you're probably just going to be pulling it out once or twice and shooting it. There are three different types of flamer fuel, though. There is the standard flamer fuel, which has just regular stats across the board. It just gives you the one times damage, no armor breaking, no extra weapon damage. Just standard flamer fuel will work just fine for this. There is also homemade flamer fuel, which is also about the same, just this one breaks your weapon three times faster. So if you want your flare gun to break really quick, you can load the homemade fuel into it. I would basically never recommend that you use homemade fuel in any of the flame guns 
It's just not worth it because it, it should give you some sort of damage bonus, I think. For it breaking your weapon three times faster, that should give you some sort of bonus in some way. And then there's also the optimized fuel, which does actually give you a damage increase. It gives you 30% more damage, and it also negates five damage threshold onto enemies, which can be pretty good. But it does break your weapon 10% faster. That doesn't really matter, and if you can make optimized fuel, I would recommend that you do that. You do need the uh, Vigilant Recycler perk in order to get that, but it would be the best option of the three, assuming that you want the best option. For an actual weapon on my tier list, I would put the flare gun into F tier as a, a, again, as a dedicated weapon that you are using for a primary weapon or even as a backup weapon. As a tool though, it should probably go up a lot higher and it should have its own like tier of utility because the flare gun can be super, super useful. And I know plenty of people love to take it on very hard builds, especially if you're doing like a permadeath run because yeah, a Deathclaw sneaking up on you can two or three shots you no matter how tanky your character is on those type of difficulties. So having a flare gun just to scare those things away actually is really, really nice to have. And uh, same thing goes with the tunnelers. The tunnelers can kill you super fast too on very hard. You can even go and grab a flare gun right away in Lonesome Road and then run up through like quarry junctions. You just shoot the players out at the death claws there, assuming you have enough flamer fuel, which you can get up to that point because there's a couple places where you can at least get it or make it. And uh, yeah, it can actually be pretty useful. So keep the F tier rating with a grain of salt because as a tool, very useful and I would recommend it. I can definitely see you carrying one around. Again, two weight isn't anything. And since you can grab it right away, you might just want to keep it just for those reasons or just to run through certain sections since you can hit the abominations and scare them away. So tell me your thoughts on the flare gun down in the comments below. How do you enjoy it? I think it's a really cool weapon. I'm glad that it's in Fallout New Vegas, even if it's not a particularly strong weapon. I still just really enjoy using this. Also, tell me what you would like to see as the next weapon appearing on these lists. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye, everybody.